If you've ever worked on more than a couple of Blender projects, then you already know the struggle of dealing with materials. You set up a new scene, start modeling, everything is going fine, and then it hits you. You need a lot of materials. You either end up reusing the same handful of textures that you already have, or worse, you start searching online, dragging in download files, connecting nodes manually, or tweaking shaders just to get something that looks half decent. But there is a solution. This is where the 5000 plus PBR asset browser comes in. And yeah, the name kind of says it all. But what this thing actually does is way more helpful than it sounds. This is actually a massive texture library, but not just a folder full of textures. It is actually fully integrated into Blender's asset browser, and every material is drag and drop ready. You don't need to set up everything manually, and you definitely don't need to be a shader wizard to make things look good. Before we continue, I want to let you guys know that Superhive, aka Blender Market, is having right now their spring sale with 25% discount on thousands of products from add-ons, materials, models, courses, you name it. And if you don't know where to start, I have in the description of this video a list of some of the best add-ons and courses out there. What really makes this library shine is how organized and broad the library is. So you won't be stuck scrolling through the chaotic list of random materials, but instead, everything is sorted into clean, simple categories like bricks, concrete, tiles, wood, bricks, and even foods and marbles. And yes, there is actually a category just for foods, which speaks volumes about how varied this library is. And there is also a section loaded with over 900 variations of metals, which has been super useful for sci-fi scenes or anything involving machines. It is also worth mentioning that the 5000 plus pack is the full version, but they actually got two smaller versions too. There's the 1000 plus demo version, and then there's the 2000 plus student version. So if you are on a tight budget and you want to test it out, those are really solid options. But honestly, if you are working on regular projects or you like having a ton of flexibility, the full pack is a no-brainer. The thing I like the most about the pro version is how each material comes with its own folder, especially if you want to go deeper or use textures outside Blender. But the real power here is how smooth it works inside the software. Whether you're using Cycles or Eevee, everything is optimized to work just fine. Now let's talk about the update, because this isn't the same pack it started out as. Over time, the 5000 asset browser has been seriously refined and expanded both in quality and variety. The materials themselves are all fully PBR, so you're getting the full setup with each one, base color, roughness, and normal maps included. And where it makes sense, you will get metallic and opacity maps baked right in. But the real star of the update is displacement. With Eevee finally supporting displacement, this library stepped up, so every material in the pack includes now a high-quality displacement map and they have been fine-tuned to look great across both EV and Cycles. And it is not just for show either. These maps add actual depth and texture to your surfaces. On top of that, performance has improved a lot, even when you are jumping between large material categories. And speaking of which, the categories themselves has grown a ton. You now get way more specialized options across architecture, terrain, metals, plastic, nature, you name it. And just for clarity, all the textures in the pack come in 2K resolution and JPEG format, which gives you a solid balance between quality and performance, especially on heavier scenes. So if you are like me, and you are tired of wasting time building materials from scratch, or digging through half-working downloads online, this asset browser is a massive time saver. And the fact that you can grab the whole library for the price of a coffee makes it one of the easiest recommendations I've given in a while which is right now at $4 and $3 with the sales. So if you are interested, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, let's give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.